Happy almost winter, everyone. My name is Jimmy Fowler. I'm a meteorologist at the National Service in Grand Junction, Colorado. And today I'll be talking about our winter outlook for our region, as well as what ENSO is and why everyone always talks about it in their winter outlooks. So ENSO, ENSO stands for the El Nino Southern Oscillation. And this looks at sea surface temperature anomalies, so how different they are compared to normal across the tropical Pacific. Now, when these are significantly warmer than average, it is considered an El Nino event, and when they are significantly cooler than average, it is considered a La Nina event. When it's kind of around average, it is considered an Enso neutral phase or a La Nada. So Enso affects the weather patterns across the entire globe. That is one of the reasons why we talk about it so much in our seasonal outlooks. However, another reason why we talk about Enso so much is that Enso is the only oscillation that we have really any confidence in forecasting wise months in advance. There's plenty of other oscillations out there. There's the AMO, the AO, the PDO, the MJO, it goes on and on and on and on. But we are really lucky to know how these will behave more than a few weeks out. So El Nino for across North America typically means that the jet stream is oriented more zonally. So it goes directly from the west to the east. Now that allows a better moisture fetch from the Pacific Ocean into the southern portions of the United States. And for those of us that live in the southern portion of the United States, that bodes well for us. So usually in these types of setups, southwestern Colorado and southeastern Utah typically have a snowier or at least wetter winter than average. During, El, uh, during La Nina events, we have this blocking high pressure that sets up across the eastern Pacific. Now this forces that jet stream to be pushed up in a way uh, into the northern Pacific Ocean. And now this directs the moisture up and away from portions of the southwestern United States. And usually in these types of setups, our region typically sees a drier winter, although portions of northern northwestern Colorado typically will be around average to maybe even above average. So the CPC has issued an El Nino watch. This means that they are anticipating El Nino conditions to be forming shortly. They give a 80% chance of El Nino forming uh, this winter and continuing through the winter, and a 55 to 60% chance of El Nino continuing through the spring. Uh, mo model guidance indicates that this ENSO event will be a weak to moderate strength El Nino event. So the current state of the Pacific Ocean has warming in the tropical Pacific. So this is a good indication that El Nino conditions are forming and, and El Nino should be declared soon. So what does all this mean for our winter forecast? Now, a quick side note, seasonal forecasting is one of the most difficult forecasting there is. There are so many different components that go into a weather forecast and trying to figure these out months in advance is really difficult. So please keep that in mind uh, for our winter outlook. Now, the CPC is indicating that we will have better odds of about 40 to 50% chance of being warmer than average this winter. And precipitation wise, it is indicating that portions of southwestern Colorado and southeastern Utah will have a wetter than average winter. Now, this is a bit less than the temperature wise, it only has about a 33 to 40% chance of being wetter than average. So a quick review, uh, the current ENSO forecast is an El Nino this winter. Uh, this winter is looking to be warmer than average. And then portions of southwestern Colorado and southeastern Utah will potentially be wetter than average. Now, one thing I kind of want to make a quick side note about is that when these El Nino events are associated more in the central Pacific rather than the eastern Pacific, that will sometimes mean that our end of winter to springtime will actually end up being a bit drier than average. So definitely keep that in the back of your minds. And that's all I have. Have a good day.